Welcome back to the KOAM Morning News. Our good friend Charlene Patton joining us yet again for the Kansas Soybean Commission. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. We've had some amazing recipes so far this month. We've had the soup bowl, which was amazing. Then we had the actual soup that goes into the bowl. <laughs> That's right. And now you've got a little, what looks like a dessert That's dish That's right. Us. We're doing a home meal, aren't All we? All right. <laughs> I love this recipe. It is a apple blueberry pear crisp, but okay. it has some a kind of interesting uh, uh, techniques for putting it together that really makes it delicious. Uh, what I've done is this is our crumble mixture and this is flour, brown sugar, oatmeal, and some cinnamon that I put together with one half cup of margarine. That's one stick and that's our soy product. Okay. We put blended that together with a pastry blender or you could use a fo two forks a knife <clears throat> but want to make it real crumbly and then you put half of it in the bottom and there well there we go just like that there and i'll show that just put that in there okay. and then we're going to add our fruit so you've got apples here i'll let you add all the apples okay. and i've got this if they don't want to come out for you and you could use any kind of apple for this recipe. And you know, <clears throat> to save money when we're all looking for ways to do that, you could use any kind of fruit too. So okay. if you have fruits there that you want to substitute, do that. Then this is our pears, chopped pears. We'll add that. Mm -hmm. I like the combination of all these different fruits together. And then you've got blueberries. Uh, so when you go to the grocery right store, look to see what's on sale. And then you can add those to make this. Great. Doesn't that look good? That does look great so far. <laughs> okay, so then what I did um, here at, uh, ahead of time here, this is like a simple syrup. It's uh, one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and um, some cornstarch, and a little vanilla. And okay. I brought that to a boil so that it would um, all dissolve, and then we're just going to pour that over it. Look at that. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Yeah, it makes it um, a, a different type of sweetener then, but instead of adding more sugar to it, we've made that syrup. And then we're going to top it with the rest of our crumb topping. Okay. See, that's what I love about these meals. They're always so simple. They look, <laughs> they look complicated when you look at it, you know, when it's done, but when you're actually putting it together, it's extremely easy to do. <laughs> good, 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 because you want everybody to try it. Put that in the oven at 350 degrees and bake it for about an hour. It'll be about 50 to 60 minutes till it turns golden brown. And then look at our wonderful dessert over here. And I love how those blueberries really kind of show through, but oh my gosh, it's really delicious. You can serve it with whipped cream. You could serve it with ice cream. You can serve it hot out of the oven, or you can wait and serve it after it's cooled. Boy, it sounds delicious any of those ways. So, Charlene, thank you again for bringing us some incredible recipes so far this month. We've got a lot more of the KOAM Morning News after this. And, of course, don't forget you can go to our website, koamnewsnow.com, for all of this information and more. We'll be right back.